Yo, this is AB. This is the S10 Plus unboxing Flamingo Pink. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy, AB. This is a unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. What you're hearing is a, I guess, after recording of the unboxing, as you can see. Um, so, one thing I can say about this phone, um, it's it's truly, really beautiful. Um, so, to go over the couple of specs, uh, as you see, that's 128 gigabytes, but that, that doesn't, like, really kind of do this justice at all uh this phone is running a 6.4 inch screen which is compared to uh the note 9 <clears throat> a dynamic uh omelet display uh running at 1440 by 3040 pic uh, pixels condensity um so for sure this like screen is like like op it is like so op it's ridiculously like it's truly beautiful uh later on you'll see like a comparison um as you see this is the flamingo pink um it's such like it kind of like changes dramatically uh from what samsung has usually done when it came to like making um phones and colors and stuff like that i think uh the iphone rose gold i think that was kind of like one of the top like oh, okay that's sexy uh so you know samsung stepping up their game too when it comes to the color um so uh as you can see when it comes inside the box uh headphones obviously uh power connector and um a type c cable <clears throat> all white by the way which was i guess because like it's pink i guess I was like, eh, I don't really want to like all white. Uh, but back to the specs. Uh, so you're running 12 megapixels uh, on the back. I don't think anything drastically changes. Uh, the second camera is a 12 megapixel, and the third camera was the ultra wide uh, lens on there is a 16 megapixel. So you have three cameras compared to the two. Uh, so kind of upgrading. You're doing 4K, uh, 4K videoing um, as a fr as a 10 megapixel on the front, which I did not know. Uh, and from what I heard that Samsung uh, has opened up their software to Snapchat. So you're able to like get like better quality photos than you mostly do when it comes to like Android phones. Um, the weight is at 16, uh, 6.7 at 17 ounces. Um, water dust resistant IP68. Uh, face unlock in screen fingerprint sensor so the thing about this fingerprint sensor that i've already determined is that i don't like it um <coughs> excuse me i've already had like a couple fails with it and that's a no-no like i can't believe i've like already experienced that but uh, also running uh, so we have a battery uh, the battery is running at 4100 milliamps and then uh expandable up to like two terabytes of sd but there's a i've <clears throat> obviously there's 128 gigabytes inside of it <clears throat> uh, excuse me i'm kind of like sick <clears throat> but looking at this screen it is like truly truly beautiful uh so we have the headphone uh we have the power button excuse me uh volume rockers uh, the Bigsby button, which is remappable from, I guess, when an update comes out, it'll be remappable. Uh, huge thing. Headphone jack on the phone. Uh, crazy. <laughs> um, but overall, when using this phone, uh, I think that the one thing about these phones that is kind of like people, it's like, you know, a lot of these phones have notches on there. I think the iPhone, uh, uh, the iPhone X, and there's me, by the way, uh, checking out the cameras. Um, the iPhone has like a huge notch. I think a lot of these phones have a notch, but just that, that little pill shape, uh, little cutout uh, on the phone, it's not really that bad. But to, uh, and these, to go over this camera, by the way, uh, this camera is like really nice. Uh, I don't really too much use like an ultra wide, but I'm telling you, sometimes it comes in handy. And I'm glad to know that Samsung has it. And finding out uh, the front facing camera only has one camera. And I think the the see what i'm trying to cover up is seeing are those both cameras and they're not it's only one camera and i guess it's just like a depth sensor i guess i don't know what <coughs> what <coughs> Woo, excuse me let me get some water so but overall i think this is a, a beautiful stunning phone i'm gonna do we're gonna do like a comparison of the note 9 in a couple seconds as soon as i bring the phone over 
And so I'm going to do a video comparison. Uh, just seeing both the phones in action. So we're going to play the John Wick Chapter 3 trailer. Uh, which I'm super excited for. If you're not, like, how are you not a John Wick fan? Uh, let me turn the brightness up on this. There we go. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, doing reviews like this is extremely hard. You got to make sure, like, nobody's information is being put out there. I got to make sure, like, you know, not like I have anything to hide. It's just, you know, you don't want people's numbers. There's a lot of people I don't save their numbers. But uh, as you see, I'm doing it uh, kind of like a body comparison. The Note 9 was a little bit tall, a tad bit taller. Um, and it's a lot wider too. It's like really fat. And on the S9, it's like really like thin. It's thin. So, and here's a quick jump cut, uh, to do like body comparisons. Cause I like, I accidentally stopped recording. I was like, Oh my God. Like I, at first I thought I didn't record it. And that's where I was like really mad. I, rec- I was like, Oh Jesus, no, come on. So here's a side by side comparison. I think I try to like unlock it. I think this is where I try to unlock it. Do I try to unlock it? No, I don't. Okay. I had like failed so many times. It's, I guess I'm not just, I'm not used to not having uh, a button, a button to press. But that's pretty much it. Uh, overall, the phone is really stunning and amazing. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you watched, uh, comment, like, subscribe, whatever makes you happy these days. I'm AB. Uh, if you have any questions about this phone, just put it down in the comments below. Uh, other than that, peace out.